Hi, I'm Jason with KTEC. We're offering CNC porting on your cylinder heads. So today I'm here with engine builder Doug Roberts and we're going to show you how to disassemble and reassemble your cylinder heads the right way. Normally we would do that with our sun and cylinder head assembly bench, but today we're going to show you with hand tools. This is a valve spring compressing tool that a lot of you may have or can get at an auto parts store. So we'll start here with the exhaust valve, get it over the retainer, press it. There's two valve locks back here. You get those off, release the compressor. Now we'll go to the intake valve, which has a lash cap on it. So just carefully remove the lash cap. So you got the spring compressed. You release it. Okay, so now we are going to remove the valves from the cylinder head. The red seal is the exhaust, the black seal is your intake. Now with our removal pliers, we are going to remove the seals. And here is our head completely disassembled, ready to be cleaned up. This is going to be an older head with oil on it, so basically some brake clean. Spray off the heads, nice little nylon brush here, just a couple quick swipes through the, the valve guides here to clean out any debris that could be in there, and then compressed air if you have, and just blow it dry and so get in all the guides and blow around the head. So now the head is ready to be sent to us at KTEC. Okay, we're now ready to reassemble the cylinder head. We'll start with our valve seals. It is nice to have the pliers just to get them in there as flush as you can. Okay, we're gonna flip it over on its side, grab some assembly oil. You want to put that on the stem of the valve. It's very light, you know, light coat is all you need. You want to get it up here in the Groove a little bit, push it in right through. Our seals are on, valves are installed. The last step is to install the springs, the valve springs. Okay, so now with our tool, we will compress the valve springs. Once it's compressed, we will grab our valve locks, install the valve locks, and now we will we'll release our compressor and go on to the next valve. We hope you found this information helpful. Be sure to come back for more tips and check out the ktechnetwork.com.